Hello, my name is LazyJo and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic. And we have got quite a good selection of tenders today. No, I'm joking, the engines are just flipped backwards. Uh, the reason why they are backwards is because I'm actually going to try and do something that I've never actually done before. We're going to have the world's first Train Simulator backwards race. And I thought the best train to try this is with Bossman Games' uh, trains because... You guys are aware that uh, Bossman Games, in my opinion, is one of the best uh, steam train uh, makers in Train Simulator. And also, all of these trains are going to be pulling some coaches backwards. So this is a mixture between uh, which Bossman Games loco is the fastest, um, which one is the fastest going backwards, and which one is also the strongest. So, it's... Three sort of different, three different races in, in, in one, if that makes sense. So the engines we've got is the Black 5 and the 8F. We've got uh, a West Country class, a uh, Waybridge. A Merchant Navy class, Clan Line. A Jubilee class, Bahamas. The Royal Scott. And finally, the Schools class, Cheltenham. So we've got a good selection of trains today, so we're going to hitch these guys up to their coaches, program them, and see which train is the fastest going backwards, and also which one's the strongest by pulling uh, all these coaches. Right then, let's play Train Sim! <laughs> Now, I've got to be honest, I am quite nervous doing this race today because uh, all the engines I'm using are made by Bossman Games, which, as I said before, is is probably the, one of the best um, uh, train simulator loco maker ever. But the problem is that I have with Bossman Games is locos. And, like, you know, th there are going to be faults. Um, is that if you have more than one uh, loco, it does cause massive lag uh, in the game. And it does drop the FPS uh, humongously. So, um, so that, that, that's that's the only issue I have. Because um, if I was only using one Bossman Games engine, you know, it, then then everything would be fine. But the fact that I'm using two, four, six, seven, seven Bossman Games engines in one map, um, it it does cause problems. But no, never mind. So, uh, what's next? We've got to do programming. So, engine one on platform one, which is the black five. Now, I'm not sure this will work because the trains will be going backwards. Is it going to work? Oh, it is going to work. Fantastic. We'll have you at 100 and let's have you at 110% power for today's race. And then engine number two on uh, platform two at 110% uh, power. Same with engine number three on platform three and have you 110% power as well. Uh, engine four, where are you? They, I've got what engine four is. Is it Waybridge? <laughs> I don't know. No, it, uh, it's Clan Line, I think. Yeah, I think it's um, I think it's Clan Line. And then uh, Bahamas, which is the Jubilee class, I think, uh, on platform five. And then platform six, hold on, 110% uh, power. And then engine six, um, is, uh, is the Royal Scott, which is going to be going backwards. Uh, this, this is the first time I'm doing a backwards race. It's going to be quite weird. Uh, and Cheltenham on platform 7. And I have you at 110% power as well. Right, I'm just doing a final check to make sure everything is sorted. 110, yep. 110, yep. 110, yep. It's good that I'm doing these safety checks, you see. Uh, 110... 10 and 110 good right so that's it programming done uh and i am ready to, I'm, I'm ready to get racing i mean we're only pulling one two three four coaches i mean hopefully it won't slow them down that much but anyway let's get uh let's get racing so let's click play are you sure you want to uh, save yes and let the world's first backwards train sim race uh begin first backward for the first backwards train race Anyway, we're off. Uh, here we go. So, um, this is actually the quiet, the most, the mo this is the most quietest, um, start in any racing history. Well, any race at all, actually, because all the engines are actually, are actually making any chuffing sounds whatsoever. This is the, probably the quietest race ever. Uh, 
um, ever, to, ever to set off. So let's see who's in the lead. Now, the thing, to be honest, I actually don't know who's in the lead because all their tenders look very similar, don't they? Uh, by the looks of things, I think the uh, the 8F, uh, because it's got smaller wheels, uh, it does have a uh, quick start off. But um, oh, well, you can actually hear the uh, the chuffing sound of the uh, of the 8F. Uh, in second place is the Royal Scott. Third place is Clan Line. Uh, fourth place, I believe, looks like it's Waybridge. Uh, fifth, um, which quite tied between uh, Bahamas, the Jubilee class, and the Black Five. Uh, Cheltenham is uh, uh, is in last place, uh, but they're all, they're all starting to to separate now, aren't they? We've got, we're starting to see a pattern here. Let's have a look at the distance. Uh, it is quite close between uh, the 8F and the Royal Scott, but look at the 8F. The 8F is uh, really chuffing now. <laughs> it's amazing. I think there was a lesson learned here. The smaller the wheels, I think the quicker the start off uh, a steam train has. The bigger the wheels, I think the slower it, it starts off. Now that, that's a stupid idea actually, I don't like that idea, idea at all. Uh, let's have a look and see how Waybridge and the others are doing. Uh, the Black Five and uh, Bahamas are sort of neck and neck at the moment. Uh, you know, Cheltenham isn't exactly a speedy little um, engine, is it? It's, it's not built for speed really, but it's... Um, Still falling behind just a little bit there, Cheltenham, but I think she's doing she's doing all right actually. She's she's not falling behind that much. So just past the level crossing, the AF has got a brilliant lead, but Royal Scott I think might be catching up. I think. Let me like try and get a a closer shot. I mean, again, I do apologise for the the amount of lag there is in this game today because of how many Bossman games engines I've got. Um. Oh wow. I think uh, I think Royal Scott might be uh. Passing uh, the 8 AF, yeah, it is. I can see it. The Royal Scott is actually going a lot more faster than the 8 F. So if I zoom in a little bit, there we go. Oh, beautiful. That is, that is amazing. So the Royal Scott is now in the lead. In second place is the 8 F. Third place is uh, Clan Line. That does not have any chuffing sound. Uh, I don't know why. Although I think Clan Line is actually going to be coming in second, actually. If we. Um, I don't know where the sound has gone. The sound is very bugged on this map. I've just realised that. Um, but the Black Five, uh, not Black Five, why I say Black Five, the AF, sorry, uh, is slowing down. Clan Nine is speeding up. Oh, God, look at how fast Clan Nine is going. Clan Nine is doing an amazing job uh, overtaking the 8F. But I think, is it going to overtake the Royal Scott? We don't know we just yet. Because um, uh, I think, would it be amazing if all steam trains uh, came to the end of the finish line and it was all just a massive tie? That would be, be funny, but pretty annoying at the same time. Let's have a look at last place. Uh, Waybridge isn't doing too bad. Uh, Bahamas is uh, is going a lot more faster than Waybridge. I'm actually looking at Bahamas, and there you go. It's just overtaken uh, Waybridge. Black Five uh, isn't doing that good, uh, unfortunately, because I'm looking at... Um, well, I'm trying to look at um, Cheltenham, and I think Cheltenham might be going a little bit faster than the Black Five. Hmm, that's not very good, is it there, Black Five? But I'm looking on the big loop now. You can just see where all the edges starting to spread out a little bit so who is in the lead at the moment it looks like it is the royal scott it's so weird seeing these steam engines without like any chuffing sound i think they're going so fast that i think i've broken it i've broken i've broken the steam trains guys because uh i think i've made them go a bit too fast all right going over the loop bridge uh royal scott is in first place uh clan line is catching up in uh in second place, and to be honest, it's actually quite weird seeing them going backwards. So you, you don't really, really see them, you don't really see steam trains going that fast backwards. Uh, who is in third place? Um, oh, it's a bit of a bit of a battle at the moment. Uh, Bahamas, the Jubilee class, has just overtaken the 8F at tremendous speed. Uh, Waybridge um, is is not doing that well. Uh, Cheltenham is in second to last, but then in last place is the Black Five, and this is the most laggiest. Uh, my game has ever run uh, all because of having so many Bossman games as locos but there you go and the black five is in stone dead last not not looking it's not looking very good is it for the black for the black five? Oh wow you can actually see like um like uh, a trail of trains just like in the distance uh with their coaches <laughs> they look like um they look like little ants don't they when they're like charging it like in a line uh, and speaking of a line I think clan line yeah, let's see what I did there um, might be catching up to the Royal Scott, although the Royal Scott does have the inner track at the moment, uh, which means we've got less to travel. But would that be enough for uh, to keep the lead? Because Clan Nine is it, it, it's quite close, isn't it, between um, uh, the Royal Scott and uh, and Clan Line at the moment? Let's see if we try and zoom just a little bit. Yeah, it is uh, quite 
quite it's quite close at the moment, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Haha, -ha, the Jubilee class has got the chuffing sound back. Uh, that thing's going out good speed. Uh, how are the others doing? Let's have a look. Um, ah, Waybridge. Um, still hasn't got any sound for some reason. Uh, the AF has no sound. Um, what about Cheltenham? Has Cheltenham found her sound? Nope. What about the Black Five? No! None of these have sound at the moment. Okay, on the downward spiral. <laughs> Every time we go on the downward spiral, it, it looks so silly seeing steam trains going that fast um, around that corner. <laughs> um, but no, uh, the Royal Scots still has a slight lead, but Clan 9 is not going to give up that easy. And we'll see Wade Bridge in there, in, uh, just on the top there. <laughs> this is the most, like, one of the craziest, but brilliant. This is actually a very brilliant race, seeing, like, all these trains. I mean, they're all, they're all still quite close together, aren't they? Even though they're quite spaced out like you know we like they're all still close together i mean if we look on the map like they're not hold on where are we on the map that's a good question here it goes you know look at all these all these trains here they're all still sort of close together so it's not like they're spaced out by much it's very clever but the biggest problem i have by a mile is the fps and the lag because as you can tell the lag is is Untolerable, really. I mean, it's it's the fact that I can just be able to record a video for this is 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 lucky because um, I did try and uh, um, well as I was putting the locos down on this map, uh, my game did crash uh, several times. And right now, Royal Scott and Clan Line are sort of fighting for first place at the moment. It is um, it is quite close between these two engines. They are sort of battling for first place but uh royal scott is uh is refusing to give up but uh so is clan line clan line does clan line have enough steam in the boiler we don't know but it is uh quite a close one isn't it because bear in mind uh, we've got royal scott and clan line which are totally different steam engines that are battling for first place it's um it's actually very clever this is it's a very clever race this isn't it it's still sort of 50-50, isn't it, of which one do you think's going to I mean, I have no idea which one's going to win out of these two. I mean, which one would I like to win out of these two? I think I would like Clan Line to win because I do love the Merchant Navies more than I do with the Royal Scott. I mean, and that sounds horrible, but um, but I just I just love the Merchant Navies because you have to remember I'm a Southern boy because I was born in Southampton, so you can't get more Southern than, uh, than a Merchant Navy. Unless it's if it's a West Country. But anyway, uh, I think Clan Line, I'm looking at the tenders, and I think Clan Line has got the slight lead just a little bit. But how are the others doing? Who's in third place? And it looks like it's the Jubilee class. Uh, it was just in third place. So who is in fourth? Let's have a look. Um, oh, it's Waybridge. I was not expecting that. Where's where's the uh, where's the AF Waybridge? Uh, let me have a look. Um, got look at all these trains. Uh, oh, um, the schools class Cheltenham has overtaken the 8F. The 8F, I think, has reached its top speed. I think it's because the 8F is more of a freight train than a passenger train. It's not, they're not really built for the speed, are they? They're more for, for hauling freight because they are freight trains, aren't they? Uh, that's why I believe so, anyway. Then I think in last place is the classic Black Five. Right, so this is where things will start getting interesting because we're about to approach the final straight. To the uh, to the finish line. Now remember, it's the first train to stop is uh, concluded as the winner. But I'm thinking, could we have because all of these trains are Bossman Games' trains? Could it be a tie? Could we have a tie? We don't know. Come on, Clan Line. I actually want Clan Line to win because it's a Merchant Navy, and I love the Merchant Navy so very much. Come on, Clan Line. No, Royal Scott is now taking the lead. It's a game of leapfrog once again. I want Clan Line to win. Oh, but I, I guess the Royal Scott is a is a true express trade, I suppose. But um, but you know, but so, so, so is the Merchant Navies. But I guess the Royal Scott just has bigger driving wheels, I suppose. But anyway, who's gonna stop first? Let's have a look at the tenders. Who's it gonna be? I think. Oh, it's close. Oh, I think. The Royal Scott is in first place, and in second place is Clan Line, and in third place is Bahamas, the Jubilee class. Park it in between uh, Royal Scott and Clan Line, uh, Bahamas. Very nice. Ooh, just park it there. Good. 
lovely. Wow, that was actually... The fact that all these steam trains are quite different, it was actually still quite close. But in fourth place, it's Waybridge. I do like Waybridge. And the sound, I think, is broken again. Uh, but I just park it next to Clown Line Waybridge. Very nice. I, I do love the design of the wheels um, on a West Country class. Um, the fact that they've got, like, circle holes rather than, than lines in the wheels. I, I, I do love that design so very much. And in fifth place, I think, belongs to the school's class at Cheltenham. Park it right next to the Royal Scott Cheltenham. Very nice. Now, I'm actually, I'm actually impressed because uh, school's class aren't really built for high-speed trains, are they? Um, and in sixth place is the 8F. Just park it next to Waybridge there, 8F. And then I think in last place is the Black 5. That is a bit sad. But there you go, Black 5. Park it right next to the 8F. And we'll conclude that the winner of the Bossman Games backwards strength competition belongs to the Royal Scott. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. In fact, let's do like a massive whistle uh, victory toot from every single engine. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Isn't that? It's like a massive whistle battle. Oh no, the sound just cut out. Oh no. Oh, we're having a lot of uh, sound technical difficulties today on uh, on this video. But anyway, that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. stuff um oh oh there we go <laughs> maybe